about last night we hadn't heard in a while too i can't remember what it was but there was what's up everybody there's something it was like a good it was a good question too and i just can't remember we hadn't heard in forever what's up good to see everyone happy happy shmoney monday what's up what's Uh, up alan Alan. what's up daniel one minute behind schedule hey i was in here at 450 yeah we i was late i'm sorry I was here at five on the dot for the record. Want to hold it against here? <laughs> I wait until five exactly to join. Just to... we do it to mess with Miles for those of you in chat. <laughs> just until he sends a text, be yep. polite. Would you please join, gentlemen? Would you please <laughs> you find a gentleman? Would you please join the stream? That's what he says. Ex- word for word. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great start to year on your Amazon business. Um, whether you're uh, doing wholesale from uh, from Corey Garrett. Uh, doing OA. Tons of opportunity out there. Um, yeah, we're here to hang out. Feel free to uh, drop your questions, that kind of stuff. Um, Dropping value for uh, for here for a little bit. Damn. You guys, everyone in here, make sure you're doing a deep dive into your 2023 data. Right, yep. Look into your top five to ten brands. Run a return report on the ASIN level to make sure you're not replenishing anything that's you know highly, highly returned that doesn't have a margin to make up for it. Right, Dig into, obviously, your overall margin. That's going to be one of the probably the best metric point, right? The the pulse of your business, right? Those three things alone will give you some good information to how kind of, if needed, uh, some corrective action throughout the next couple months. Yep. Yeah. And then make sure that you guys get registered as well. We got the free live training going down on January 10th, which is Wednesday. Um, so we <laughs> Completely with right. what we were just talking about. Yeah, legit, right? In terms of getting started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so get registered for that. And then if you're at square one, just looking to get going with the stuff, um, make sure you get a professional Amazon Solar Central account open, a Selleramp free trial at selleramp.com, a Kiva subscription, right? You go to the link in the description and do all the auto ungate ASINs, right? You're going to need like one to three K to get started with. Um, and that you're in the right place if you're watching this. So, you know, make sure you ask any questions. And then Warren and I both have free courses you guys should watch as well to get started too. Have you ever hired a sales rep for calling wholesale distributors? Uh, I, I don't know. You're the I mean, obviously make sure that it's, it's domestic if you're going to look that route because you don't want that sort of language bearer as like the the um, the face of, of kind of your outreach. Yeah, yeah. And you, you got to be making like 500k plus as a human being to delegate something like that too. So Alan had a good question. He said, "I have a question for you, Miles. Do you usually tell girls you're an Amazon seller, or is it recommended?" <laughs> Is it not recommended because they'll reject you like the distributors? <laughs> that, we might have to have the timeline vote on that. Give me, give me a, give me a W or an L on. Yeah. Amazon do you do you lie on a date and tell them you're something besides a reseller? <laughs> yeah, let's get some Ws and Ls in the chat, depending on which uh, which answer you're feeling for that. See, but the uh, the right one would be about it though. Like, the, well, she needs to be willing to yeah. FBM with you. If she's not willing to FBM with you, yeah, the the right partner is down to uh, help help do some prep. Right you know. <laughs> yeah, they gotta be willing to FBM with you. Need help on getting big brands? I've tried numerous times. Just keep it rolling. Make sure you're submitting a PDF. Make sure uh, include credit card statements if you have them. Pictures of the product. Anything you need to do. Change the product. Change the name of the the, the document. Include the the ASIN. Include the brand that you're trying to get engaged for. Telling me drop ship, but the problem is in Miami, that's like actually true with some people. People still do that. <laughs> Tell me drop ship. People definitely still drop ship. Oh, for, oh my God. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. See, you're going to see some rebuild people in, uh, in Miami. Corey. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get you, uh, unfortunately. For the, the 22 hours that he's there. Yeah. yeah I'm not going to be there for very long. Transformative 22 hours, right? We're getting through the whole bucket list, the whole pledging. Um, <laughs> the Miami pledge process. Yeah, you're gonna go home a new person. Yeah, Can't wait. Jenny, Jenny is Jenny said it best. You need to be able to handle the dining room full of full of profit, FDM full supplies. FDM supplies. Yeah. Yep. yeah, for real. Yeah, if she if she FDMs with you, she's a keeper, big time. Mm. What's up, Marlon? Yeah. What's new- a, oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. what's a safe cost for cost by weight when you're sourcing? Uh, like 40 cents a pound is pretty conservative. You'll probably run closer to like 20 or 30 cents. That's a fact. Yeah. So you drop ship. That's so, yeah. That's the I, most common. I, I, uh, possible. I got it like, like five times in a row or something meeting new people. They're like, so your drop shipper is like, this is like yeah. insane. Yeah. Like if, if that's what you think. Sure. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. If it, if it keeps me from having just to say explain yes. myself further, then sure. Just say yes. Yeah. How much can you make <laughs> doing FBA online? I mean, as there's really no ceiling, right? And we know people that are doing a million a month, majority OA. We know people doing 5,000 a month, majority OA, right? So it's yeah. obviously highly in capital intensive. So it, it depends on the input of the business. And ultimately, and more importantly, how much will you're willing to put in in terms of effort, delegation, processes, all those sorts of things. Yeah, very, very realistic with a lot of uh, hard work and talking to right people and dedication. You can you can be doing 100K a month. That is not unachievable for pretty much anyone. But it's going to it's going to be the it's, hard. It's hard work. Yeah, it's hard work. Yeah, it's going to be the hardest thing you've ever done as a human being out uh, if you've never made 10K profit. And that's the by far the hardest money you'll ever make is like your first couple 10K profit months. Yeah. OK, Naylene, we appreciate it. Um, but if you say that again, I'm going to put you in timeout. <laughs> one of the biggest only, or well, used to be only, one of the biggest only OA sellers, probably. Who? Soros. Oh yeah, there's a well, there's a bunch of big ones on there. Yeah, like um, I could name a bunch, and I'm not going to name them publicly, but like I could, I could rattle off names. But the yeah. unfortunate part is, a lot of them are like not profitable. They just run it up for <laughs> well, numbers. Soros like, self admittedly not. I mean, wasn't yeah. not currently. He's yeah. Wasn't. Now, though. yeah, yeah, he's definitely printing now. What up, Pete? What up, Heath? Jewel spin facts, <laughs> bro. Said good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, family. Okay, here we go. Uh, FBA UK content creators you recommend? Um, so we're cool. Uh, I saw Seller Central IO. Um, they do some cool stuff with Selling. Um, for sure. I'm not super educated on uh many other ones though. Fast Track FBA is Fast awesome. Track. Yeah, Thomas yeah, Fast Track yep. great guy. Yep. Um, not super familiar with uh a bunch of other ones. Oh, though. there's one. More, there's one more we had in the pod. I can't think of his name. Well, I recently connected. So if you want to learn wholesale and you're in the UK, Jats Naran, J-A-T-Z-N-A-R-A-N. He's, as far as I understand, like the biggest, one of the biggest wholesale educators over there. And I talked to him recently in person, uh, not in person, uh, like over Zoom, but he's super, super nice guy, knows his stuff for sure. He's got a SaaS over there as well, but he, I'd check him out if you're in the UK looking to do wholesale. Okay. All right. Well, Nelly and I apologize. I got to put the damn hammer on it. <laughs> Time out going crazy. Oh, straight for the hammer. Well, straight no, it's the... not banned. It's time out, though. It's five minutes. Um, so, oh, so that Draymond Green suspension. Yeah. <laughs> Pete said he tried to be slick with the change of message. <laughs> hate to see it. <laughs> uh, you're 14 other obstacles to starting FBA. You are awesome, first of all. You're in the right. You're you're thinking correctly. You will, you will succeed in life. Um, you're probably going to need like some parents help in terms of like, uh, credit card, setting up the account, that kind of thing. You might need their, uh, their address, like all that kind of stuff. But there are many people who have made disgusting months of money before they are legal adults. So you get started. That shouldn't, shouldn't stop you. We got a guy in our community. Yeah, exactly. That's my Sawyer, dog. Yeah. yeah. That's my dog. Great. Right? He's actually coming to Sky Emmy too. Yeah. Cool, cool, sweet. Okay, cool. Let us know what other questions you guys got. But doing all right. When I find a banger, do I buy right away and on gate after? Yes, Jackson. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, but the cool thing is a lot of a lot of RA stuff is going to be smaller brands, so it's going to be auto on gate, or it's going to be big brands that you'll have on gated prior, just off of like doing OA, as well. And if you really have that dog in you, you'll submit a picture of the receipt and get on gated that way too. Um, okay. Uh, can it be done for a living? Uh, well, luckily you're 14, so you don't have to worry about doing anything <laughs> right now. Uh, but yeah, for sure. Right. Definitely. Like, uh, you know, you think about everyone, you know, buy stuff on Amazon over 60% of stuff sold on Amazon comes from third party sellers, you know, absolutely LLC for retail arbitrage. None of us are lawyers. Um, so it's completely up to you in your own situation. Um, however, it is a thing most people eventually do. <clears throat> so curious to get your opinions on this. I think opinions might differ. So Jackson said, super beginner question, but doing retail arbitrage, when I find a banger, do I? Bro needs to pay attention. We just answered that family. We just oh, answered. Oh, dude, I was confused. No, no, no. I, mean, yeah. that <laughs> I was like, why am I getting put in timeout? I was trying to help somebody yeah, out here. No, I get it. <laughs> can it be done for a living? Yeah, absolutely yeah. can be done for a living. Uh, what are some top wholesalers to buy from? Nobody's going to tell you that. So don't ask questions like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're going to have to find that stuff on your own. Now, OA suppliers are really easy to find, right? Yeah. Then it's just, okay, you need to be able to get stuff discounted to where it's profitable. Right. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, rock steady. It's literally just brand that I want to sell distributor, my state, Google that. And that is an infinite well. And then, oh, I'm out of the distributors of that brand in my state. 
you got six states around you at least google all those like it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of legwork to find the first like yeah. accounts Legit worthwhile on that same path right if you have a brand that you've qualified right amazon's yeah. in the picture competition is good velocity all those things are good just reach out to the brand if you don't get that account i chances are they can probably connect you to four or five six different authorized distributors that they have either worked with or they endorse or whatever the case may be like that's how it worked for us numerous times yeah and, and those like, are likely going to be ones that aren't on the top of google that are a little more low-key that are probably a little bit more moded yeah and legit the only thing that matters is is cold calling a hundred of them to start like you're going to learn pretty much every question you're procrastinating right now you're going to figure out when you start calling but people literally wait years to start calling we got some some young hustlers networking in the chat too you love to see it yeah that's great jake said what's everyone's favorite wholesale outreach method so my our go-to method these days well i guess if you're talking outreach i like to email and then follow up with a call if for some reason i don't i don't hear back from them because typically we can get most accounts open via email but as far as my favorite method for just landing profitable suppliers period that would be attending trade shows like asd that's coming up here in a couple of months like outdoor retailer that takes place in denver every year any sort of trade show uh, even the more niche the better if it's a category that you're trying to break into is going to be your best bet for landing the most profitable accounts the quickest because you can get face to face you can build rapport you can buy products right then and there on the show floor there's no better way to grow your wholesale business than going to trade shows there's no way a better way to prove yourself too right if you just meet someone mm -hmm. and have a hand and you've done this numerous times and have an order in their hand that same day well how easy is that follow-up right how easy yep. is it to send them an email two weeks later and be like, hey place an order with you guys at asd um looking to touch base again any new products in your line any new catalogs you can send us so on and so forth you've already earned the trust and from there it's just easy easy okay yeah Pete, pete's spot on he says we complete the wholesale challenge and then we call <laughs> <laughs> okay just getting going amazon store is up and i have supplies where do i start this week to make money so uh get all the auto on gates done uh place some orders for like the big on gates some of the maybe shoe brands, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, or like the beauty category, some stuff like that, right? And then go out and scan your entire local Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Nike out, and then start doing OA. And then also definitely register for the uh, the free training too that's going down on Wednesday. And then just familiarize yourself with like all the terms that go into selling on Amazon, product analysis, seller amp, keep on. A great place to start is on Warner and I's uh, free courses we have that you can just search on YouTube. So Jenny said, Corey, how many wholesalers are you reaching out to on average per day? So these days, none, because of the fact that we've got relationships that we built over the course of years. And my goal is to go a lot deeper with the suppliers that we already have. But if I was a newer wholesale seller and I'm looking to build my business, people probably think I say, oh, reach out to 20 or 50 a day. Really, it doesn't take that big of a quantity. It does over time. But you're going to burn yourself out if you're reaching out to 20 or 30 new suppliers every day. So I say set a much more realistic figure of anywhere from like three to five new suppliers per day, but do it every day for 30 days straight. OK, and now that's not just I'm going to reach out to three to five new suppliers per day. That is I'm going to have conversations with three to five new suppliers each day. Right. And if you do that every day for 30 days straight, I would bet every single dollar I have that you're going to have a profitable wholesale business at that point within 30 days. Yeah, on top of that, right, if you reach out to 100, right, how generic are those emails, right? How basic are those emails? How non-customized are those emails? I right. would rather you send out five emails that are very specific, maybe name dropping a couple of their competitors, right? Name dropping a couple of products that they carry that you know you want and maybe even quantities within those products rather than send up a, send a generic template to 50 people, right? The more customized, the more and better position you can establish, the better off you're going to be. Right. And so I think the, the more strategic your outreach is, more so just quantity is going to behoove you significantly. Um, Corey, are you going to outdoor retailer? I assume that's a trade show. Yeah, not this year. So I went, that was the first trade show I ever went to, I think, August of like 2021 out in Denver. Uh, it was a really good one to go and get my feet wet. I went by myself. I didn't know any other Amazon sellers that were there. I pretty much just had to, you know, I was really nervous, but I was just going up to booths talking to vendors and it's like each vendor you talk to the next one gets easier right it's one of those things where you just got to put your reps in but it's a really good one to go to so if you're considering it i, I would recommend it but so you say you were really nervous but you're still here you're still alive mm -hmm. yeah, you you <laughs> yeah it's not the end of the world and even and that's the thing too is like even if you like walk up to a booth 
and maybe they're a jerk to you or maybe you fumble over your words and like it's you're clearly not going to form a relationship with that vendor nobody cares right they they talk to hundreds of potential customers each day they're not even going to remember that they talked to you right if it truly was that bad so don't don't worry about it uh, it's and the same applies when you're making cold calls right if you're cold calling vendors if you completely bungle it you can call that same supplier back later that week because chances are you're going to be talking to a different person and also chances are they get so many calls per day they don't even remember your conversation so it's not as big a deal as a lot of people make it i think yeah and you got to understand 60 years ago the government would have forced you to go fight in vietnam right so like you can't <laughs> you can't be nervous about business stuff like like they're, they're, it, it's largely useless to be nervous about business stuff or uh, I mean, you can but you, you can't oh yeah them. and you'll just get dominated by the dude that just chad does it you'll just, <laughs> like, you get, like you get obliterated by it like there's a lot of there's a lot of people who love to give themselves labels. Oh, I'm an introvert. I'm I'm just not that type of person. They just get run over by 20 year olds who just send it every time. Right? Could have been born a fish. Yeah, you yeah like you could have been born a fish. <laughs> hard to get to here. You're sitting here afraid. You're sitting here nervous about on gating. Yeah, Jen, spot on, right? She said her husband always tells her. They won't even remember you and most likely you will not see them again. I can guarantee you that you won't see them again and I can almost guarantee you that they won't remember, right? So it's, you have nothing to lose. Uh, how do you find a storefront with only the name? So Angel, type it into your search history on uh, like the search bar, right? Like on the URL bar or plug it in on Google. Um, oh no, N oh, Nailene's back. Okay. All right. Let's see if Nailene, let's see if you get more creative with his messages. <laughs> She says, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I respect the patience to wait out the suspension Facts. to send the message again. Facts. We might have to Draymond Green to hear she again now. Yeah, next one's the next one's the Draymond <laughs> indefinite spend suspension. So really, really? So you're yeah. in charge now. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Lead commissioner. Okay. Um, so so this is a fantastic question. So I keep hearing about reusing the new customer 15% at the Nike outs. I've only used it once through the Nike app. How do I go about uh, reusing it, right? So Matt, what you're going to want to do to do that is you're going to want to set up what's called a catch-all, right? Um, so that's catch, A-L-L, -L, catch-all, right? Uh, via what's called Namecheap. You're going to find um, you're going to find the tutorial for that on YouTube and you're going to set that up and that's going to let you get unlimited emails and therefore unlimited accounts and therefore unlimited 15% coupons. Bang. Cool. Okay. So I, I uh, wrote a Twitter thread earlier on supplies. You guys need to get started. So we might as well go through the checklist for you guys on here too. So number one, free four by six labels from the UPS website. You're going to find a link to that on Google. Number two, free USPS FBM boxes, um, which are, you're going to find that on Google too. Number three is a label printer. If you have over two grand, if you don't have over two grand, you need to go to the library and use the old school printer. The fat lady's going to roll out to you, right? Or uh, you can use the old school printer if you have one at home, right? Um, number four is going to be a tape gun. That's from Walmart. Number five is going to be F and SKU labels from Amazon. That's what you're going to put on each product to send it in. Um, number six is going to be FBA big boxes, which is the blue colorway of the pen gear boxes from Walmart. And then um, number seven is going to be non-branded FBM buy boxes, which is like, you know, 11 by eight by five from Walmart. Anywhere around that size is going to fit pretty much anything. Buy boxes. That's a sick name for a, a box company that targets uh, Amazon sellers. Such a good name. Yeah. <laughs> Not exist, Somebody start that. that. Yeah. Just wanted to make you smile. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> cool. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking your time. Doing that, though. Uh, what do you guys, what are you saying to oh, keep some, uh, wholesale vendors to show you're serious and not just a newbie? I mean, the, one of the, the surefire ways to establish that is, is identify specific products, do your research beforehand, right? So if it's a brand, it's easy, right? Come in with particular SKUs and quantities. Hey, I'm looking for this SKU, this SKU, and this SKU. I'd like 500 of each. Can you kind of identify around what price point you're thinking? Something like that it shows that you are serious, shows that you this isn't your first rodeo, shows that you have um, I products in mind of their product list, and then you're, you're going to get a lot better of a response than someone that just says, hey, let me, uh, let me buy your products to sell on Amazon. Are you guys paying 30 for barcode? <laughs> no, nah, Mark. So we're not doing anything with barcodes, man. We're not doing private label. Yeah, you don't need to buy a barcode because you're just listed under the listings that already exist. You just grab the ASIN from like the Amazon URL. 
and then bliss via that. Yes, sir. Pete, Garmin arrived. The only acceptable watch in 2024. Uh, <laughs> that's a hot take. Well, it's better than an Apple Watch. Corey, the type of you to wear an Apple Watch. <laughs> Not an Apple Watch guy. Cool. Not a watch guy in general. Okay. I have right. a whoop. Yeah, I was gonna say he's definitely a whoop guy. Oh, is that yeah. the is that the sleep thing? Uh, yeah. I mean, well, it's like an aura ring, but it's I think whoop's been around longer longer than aura, but yeah, same thing. Gotcha. Okay, so is your day ruined if you have a seventy six instead of an eighty one sleep score? No, I, it used to kind of get in my head. It's like, oh, I feel I feel well rested this morning. I look at my sleep score and I was like forty. Oh, I'm like, like, do like, I actually feel that good? <laughs> then I'm like. It's complete. I almost got rid yeah. of it because it almost kind of gets in your head. But yeah, it like oh, makes God. you manifest a worse day than you need to have. You just got like, to go for a run in the morning. You'll be good to yeah. go. That'll yeah. give you all the energy you need. You need a mission. Yeah. <laughs> the stray bullets at Corey. Corey, all, Corey, <laughs> that's what have you. Is this your first time on Money Monday, Pete? Yeah, this is. It's good. just Corey catches strays while <laughs> while Miles runs. I can handle it. <laughs> uh, we're well, gonna be. Good... I, I'll, I'll cover the hoe on Friday. Um, how much capital would I need to start? Um, so dude, it depends what you want to sell, but typically around like one to three K if you want to do online arbitrage, um, you can start with a lot less than that if you want to use, uh, use books though too. So somebody just let's congratulate our boy over here. So he said, Hey guys, just sent my first $3,200 worth of inventory to Amazon looking to make about 2k in profit, four months of hard work. First big order. Very excited for 2024. Good luck to everyone. That's awesome. So right. $3,200 worth of inventory. Let us know, was that retail arbitrage? Was that online arbitrage? Was that a wholesale order? How did you go about finding that uh, those products? Because there's some people in this chat here that they might be a couple of steps behind you. Maybe they've got the capital, but they don't quite have the products yet that they're ready to send in. So tell us how you found those. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Start, uh, starting with, yeah. Ooh, yeah, you starting with doing this on the side. How realistic is it? How many hours can you expect a week? Um, you want to be able to set aside like hopefully like an hour a day at least. Um, obviously the business will, will grow, um, at the rate at which you can put time in. So ideally you can put a good amount of time in. There's a lot of nine to fivers who do this on the side though. So if you got a job or that kind of thing, like don't let that slow you down. Um, just set yourself a, a goal that you know you can hit. So if you know you can spend 30 minutes a day on it, do it. And then when 30 minutes a day becomes easy, all right, an hour a day is my new goal. Like just find a business that works for you. If you want to grind and work a ton, it'll do it. You'll make more money. If you can only work an hour and you want to spend the rest of your time with your family, make make a couple thousand bucks. Like it, it is what it wants. The business is what you want it to be. Yeah, but if you're a young single male, you need to put every waking hour in this <laughs> because the 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 wall the walls are closing in. Don't right? leave the don't leave the the young ladies out. Why is this exclusionary here? <laughs> Uh, well, no, it's not necessarily exclusionary, but I it definitely did that. Statistically, the five percent of the people watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the four point two percent. Yeah, you guys got to be getting after it too. Uh, I got a shirt returned to me today, stained and worn. Is this something I can reverse a refund for? If so, how? Yeah, I think you could probably file like what is it like an A to Z claim? Yeah. Or say uh, wait, wait, was it FBA or FBM? I didn't say. Oh. But you just take pictures, send them to Amazon, um, and you'll be able to Amazon will help you out. Schedule pickup. Yeah, the human spirit, right? The human spirit can get anything done. But yeah, typically schedule pickup, though. Um, but you'll figure it out. Like if, you, if you had 100 orders to ship, 500 bucks profit, you would figure it out for sure. Okay, this is awesome. So ASD got back to us with some context. So he said that that $3,200 order that he just sent into Amazon, it was a wholesale order. He said he went through about 200 to 300 distributors, it sounds like, to find the one that he ended up buying from. Learned a lot in the process, how to talk to distributors, how to analyze products. He started with wholesale from the start and had a bit of capital for starting. So that's awesome. So you're one of the, not a few people, but we usually recommend people start with arbitrage and then transition into wholesale. But at the same time, I know plenty of people that have started with wholesale, no Amazon experience and crushed it, right? Not necessarily the easiest way to start, but people can make it happen. And sounds like you had great success with it. So that's awesome. And also something else to note there, he said he talked to 200 to 300 distributors. It sounds like to find one that he ended up placing an order with, right? So that's a lesson for you guys that, you know, you reach out to 10 or 15 or even 20 suppliers, you say wholesale doesn't work. Well, it takes a lot more effort than that. I mean, and the reason why we kind of say that, right, to start with OA, RA, is, is you really want to get comfortable with the data, right? You really want to get comfortable with identifying good products versus bad, what's going to last, what won't, right? And the nuances that come with everything, right? What does the offer count increase mean? What does the inconsistent buy box mean? 
increasing the competition, low competition, Amazon and listing, all these sorts of things are, are tiny nuances that really dictate how good a product potentially can be. Right. And so these are the things we would rather you get confidence in before you're approached with a 10,000 MOQ, as opposed to just spending $50, $100, $500 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Right. So it's the level of risk that we're hoping to really um, uh, allow you to learn this stuff at a smaller scale once you start to kind of use that knowledge now and kind of adapt into wholesale stuff. Okay, here we go. What do you do to get around order cancels on a Shopify type website? So the first question is to figure out, are they canceling me because they're anti reseller or because they think me placing $4,626 orders in an hour long period is fraud, right? Um, we need to figure that out, right? If they, you call them and ask why, and they say it was because we're anti reseller then we start to get creative. Right, then we start to try different emails, switch up the name, switch up the address, switch up the payment type, right? Uh, switch up the credit card type, right? Or credit card uh, if you have multiple, right? So you want to isolate which variable is causing the cancels. And that's ideally, right, which we always harp on in tandem with other sellers as well. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, okay, uh, Chad, buy a lot on the AMX. Um, <laughs> you draw honey, right? Um, Get sunlight every day, um, avoid seed oils, and uh, listen to the big booty mix. Yeah, the buy box pants, of course. Yeah. So, and by the way, if anyone's unfamiliar with that, you hear us talk about, go look it up on YouTube. It's like this really good, like retro, like a lot of the white girl music from middle school will be in there and uh, and stuff. So it's it's really popping. You guys should, you guys check that out. Someone someone mentioned Miles and I on Twitter and said, "Wait, this is actually legitimate." Yeah, I thought yeah, you yeah, 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 it's popping, it's popping. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Go with 14, 17, 21 is pretty good. Most uh, of them. Are. I I I have a con I have to confess that I didn't give it a shot until like a month ago and now we bump it like every morning. <laughs> Oh, you think we, we wouldn't steer you guys wrong. Yeah, yeah, you guys. Because I got I got some speakers in the in the new place too, so it's just yeah. like the whole apartment is full of. <laughs> yeah, Corey, are you big booty, booty, booty mix? Oh yeah, I've heard of it before for sure. Oh yeah, Corey was in the frat. He's been hit. Corey, you got to start on 14. 14. You got to start 14. fourteen. Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't know like each yeah. one, but I'm, they're they're good for sure. Fourteen and seventeen are two of the bangers. <laughs> So ASD had one more. He said, one quick tip, start calling distributors. He said in my in month one, he only sent out emails. In month two, he started calling and he said he made more progress in a week yes. than he did in a month. And that's because you're typically going to get, I mean, if you call someone, you're going to get an answer right away, right? And a lot of these distributors, they're old school. They don't do well with email. Get them on the phone, get right to the point, get that yes or no immediately. And then Alan had a question uh, earlier. It's, it's kind of a longer winded question. I'll try to summarize it. I want to answer it for him because he's been really supportive lately. Uh, but he said he noticed that so on my Shopify website, which I use to sometimes open accounts with suppliers, he said uh, sometimes he said, Corey, you'll drop ship orders from your supplier to your Shopify customers, which we get, you know, one or two sales per week on our Shopify store. He's like, it's confusing if you work with wholesalers who don't typically support drop shipping smaller quantities. How do you manage orders coming from your website? So pretty simple, right? The the only time like the only inventory on our website is actually from a dropship friendly distributor. So if an order comes to our website, that distributor, they're set up to dropship to our customers, right? So we can very easily place an order for one unit, dropship it right to our Shopify customer. Now, if for example, that distributor is out of stock or if for whatever reason, we just don't feel like fulfilling the order, we can just cancel the order and then we'll refund the Shopify customer. Uh, and you did mention something about using Amazon's multi-channel fulfillment to dropship to customers. That is or to Shopify customers. That's an option as well. Lips obeyed my advice. Ron, Aileen, I got you. I got you. I love you guys. Appreciate it, Mikhail. Okay. Currently, currently work a nine to five job for a toy manufacturer. I have a set of items that are familiar with the platform. I'm ready to start my own business and do this for myself. You got this, Vanessa. So it's likely you're not going to be able to buy your the products yeah. that, you, that you work for. Although if you, if you can get a wholesale <laughs> account with your own company and but get an inside she, like advantage there, then do it. She probably knows. So like she said, yeah. she works with a toy manufacturer. Like they're probably in a specific niche, right? It's probably not like a Hasbro. So she probably knows her biggest, her company's biggest competitors that may or may not have an established Amazon presence. She might know other big brands or big categories in that, uh, in that specific 
or sorry, big brands or products in that specific subcategory. And chances are she probably knows all the distribution players in that category as well. So it'd be very easy for her to leverage that position and um, yeah, and make something out of it. I mean, bottom line, she already has the familiarity with how some of this stuff works. You just need the nuance that we were kind of talking about before, how sales ranks works, the buy box, how all these little things interconnect to establish what products are good and not, and then you're off to the races. Oh damn! National championship on tonight. Oh, I didn't. Really I completely right. forgot. For football. Oh, I said, gotta watch that. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, college football. Tony said, "What up? What up? This is a high T panel. Go blue." <laughs> Who do you guys have tonight? <laughs> oh, I feel oh, like Michigan got it. I feel like Michigan's got it. Is it? Who are they playing? Bama. Washington. Washington. They just beat Washington's Bama. Washington's in the national title. Really? They got uh, Penix. Yeah, yeah. Miles, yeah. you you really are. All no, Amazon I don't, I don't all watch day. sports ball. No, 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 no. I know. I play sports. I don't watch sports. Um, Other than last Saturday, but that's, you know, besides. Uh, what was I watching? Oh, no, no. That's, I don't, no, no, no. That's different. <laughs> uh, is buying from liquidation outlets okay? Sort of. Um, a lot of that type of stuff is damaged, which is like the usual issue. If it's like closeout, it can be good. Uh, if it's just like the last of whatever they have to sell. But like if you're talking about like buying pellets full of random stuff, it's usually like half can sell on amazon the other half you're just like praying like it's a completely different business model usually pete body what's the line i think isn't it like five and a half or something <laughs> have we betting tonight okay we'll see here we go though brandon just exposed himself as actually okay but brandon's got the packers profile pick so he's got the correct opinion <laughs> Right, he just exposed himself as having a so Brandon, time. like I, was popping off yesterday watching the game. But he has confirmed that he does actually have time, and that he shouldn't be worried about how much time it takes. He should be worrying about doing whatever it takes. Yeah, Wait, Joe they, would know they, best. Don't yeah, buy take random take it from stuff. Father, yeah, father. Yeah, <laughs> he would know. Joe would know. When are they in the playoffs? The Packers? Yeah. As eight seed, who are they playing? Uh the Cowboys. So we're screwed. But <laughs> did the Eagles make the playoffs? Yeah. yeah, they did. Okay, they did. Okay, they struggle in though. They're not going to win. Really? You guys balled on the Eagles. That was sick. Interesting. What's the reason for glitchy? Ooh, that's a good question. Damn, Alex, I, I follow you on Twitter. I like you, Alex. Um, I it's uh, yeah, I follow, yeah, he puts out some good stuff. Um, it's typically just that that listing um had is a variation. It's like a random size or random color, and it got detached from the main one, and then it got re-added. Is is probably what happened. Or another variation within that parent ASIN. Yeah. Right. So if that's if you're looking at like the size 13 and the size eight got removed and separated, well the the sales rank, which we know is cumulative, is use is losing all that historical data. So it's losing the reviews, it's losing the sales. And so the the parent ASIN is gonna adjust minus all the sales history that just left. Nah, you just pull up on them, Alex. That's like it's like a big convention center, basically. Now it's not gonna hurt to let people know in advance, but like, yeah, you just you just rock up with your boys you met on Twitter, right? And it's basically just like how you do. Yeah, it. it's a zoo. <laughs> it's it's like, like a think of it as like a big, just like open marketplace almost. People yeah. are yelling across the room, buying, selling. It's it's honestly fun. It's a lot of energy. Yeah, and you'll see like random people you recognize to walking, you know, mobbing around and such. And then you look and you see seven bozos. They should bring a little around. bit. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. should bring a little bit of like old school Wall Street to ASD where they're just shouting out random stuff they've got. That's what it feels like. I was explaining it to somebody like... the other day. I was like, <laughs> somebody was asking like, what is like, what is ASD like? And I was like, honestly, it feels like I'm in some like, almost like European marketplace. Like where people, yeah, where people are just like yelling at each other. And like, cause like some vendor, like even vendors sell to each other. They're buying and selling to each other. Like they're yeah. at the show and you got other retail buyers. Like it is, it's kind of crazy. I might have my new group chat of salience. I think I have a new pledge class ready. I see grayness. This group chat's been ripping every 10 seconds. Like they might be the next ones up. I'm not going to lie. I might have a new crop of stallions ready to hit 100K a month in six months. Um, I always call up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, beautiful, right? So when you do stuff other people won't, you'll get results other people can't. The vast majority of human beings are deathly afraid of calling a random person and trying to conduct business with them. But those that aren't make all the money. Mostly Steven yelling at vendors. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Cool. All right, sweet. Um, so um, make sure you guys get registered for the free training if you haven't. Uh, January 10th, right? Check that out, right? Cousin Warner and myself are going to be dropping a lot of game right there. You know, it should be fun um, in terms of getting started, delegating, right? How, how to, you know, make 2024 your best year yet. And uh, such, yeah, good job, Nailene. At, at, at she a, made the stream. Uh, hey, she made the stream. She, she survived. She did. She did. Yep, yep. Um, right there. So definitely, you know, check that out if you guys are interested. 
um, right there. And then overall, too, if an if another Amazon star has never heard your voice, that's a good challenge for this week is to change that, right? Because the people that are making the most money with the stuff are having a ton of fun talking to each other on Discord and group chats all day, right? So they're getting uh, access to opportunity. You won't if you're not networking and getting to meet other sellers within the community and such, too. It's a really good recommendation as well. Nothing. And some of my finest moments were at 6.30 a.m. calling Miles with a massive bolo. Oh, like all of them. Years ago. Uh, no, no, no. You're, you're lying if you say your life is more fun now than it was back then. And guys, real quick, oh, I'm going to mention, yeah. Yeah. for any of you interested in learning wholesale, we've got our next live wholesale challenge coming up January 22nd through the 29th. It's going to be two hours minimum per night of live wholesale training with me teaching you how to start, scale, and manage a fully remote wholesale business over that entire seven-day period. And I think each guy here in this call, more, more than likely link in the description, uh, where you can, if you use their link, it's going to benefit them. And you can just check out wholesalechallenge.com as well for more info. Okay. If you have questions about the challenge, you can shoot me a DM. Yep. But just know if you go to my link as opposed to Miles and Warner's, you'll get a bigger discount. So That's just... not true. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, definitely check that out if you guys, these guys do a really good job with that. And uh, is ready to 100K a month. Here he comes. See, now here's the thing. Tony G is attempting to do the impossible. My boy doesn't even have an iPhone yet. We're working on that and uh, and such. But definitely a, definitely a good dude right there and such. Cool. Appreciate it. Yeah, I should be about an hour or two on depending. Um, how can we get into Discord? So, Brandon, check uh, check Warner's LinkedIn bio on Twitter. I believe that should uh, be in there. Yep. Or you can go to flipsformiles.gumroad.com. Right there. Sweet. Cool. Good to Sweet. see everybody. You guys – Take massive action this week. Please buy something. Spend uh, some amount of money. Don't spend another week watching YouTube videos. Take action. Change your life. Yep. Let's awesome. do it. Another salad, yeah. right? McBean and such. And uh, life's good. Have a great night, everyone. Love you guys.